Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from M1News.com. Like always, all like almost us. The only Yankees YouTube that will show you up to the minute news on the New York Yankees. You could say Google News can't keep up with this channel. So, in the past, I have defended Mark Teixeira when CC uh, went at him for comments about Robinson Cano. Okay? I agreed there. But in this instance, Mark Teixeira, in my honest opinion, he really needs to shut up. Okay? Because he is walking a thin rope, making comments about Aaron Judge, the face of the Yankees, and arguably MOB, by the way he carries himself. And we know Aaron Judge is a classy man. So what did Mark Teixeira say? He said something like this. He said Aaron Judge woke up a sleeping giant. Uh, no, he didn't. The Yankees beat themselves. They left uh, plenty of runners in scoring position. Okay, And he said that Aaron Judge does not have rings, so he shouldn't make comments or he shouldn't have played New York, New York when he was passing by the Boston Red Sox locker room. Mark Teixeira, do you know why Aaron Judge did that? Because... Unlike other people that don't have balls, Aaron Judge made it a point to stick up for Gary Sanchez because some journeyman pitcher, if you see who he's following on Twitter, you could get a good idea of what kind of person he is, told Gary Sanchez to get in the effing box and treated him like a dog, like a filthy animal. So are you going to tell me Aaron Judge, who is obviously the captain of the New York Yankees, wasn't going to step up for Gary Sanchez in that situation? And he also said, you're going to make that statement and then get your asses handed to you the next uh, two games. They got their asses handed to them because the Yankees, as an overall team, they weren't prepared for those games. Because you could say, I don't know, the coaching staff didn't prepare them enough. It made really bad decisions. You know, like not starting McCutcheon, even uh, not pitch hitting and or who has came in clutch all season long. So to say that this was Aaron Judge's fault is ridiculous. You want to know whose fault it is, really? It was the fault of people that don't have balls. Let me ask the question, did Mark Teixeira say anything about Gary Sanchez? How he was demanded to step in the effing box? Did he say anything about that? Is he on radio talking about that? The obvious of why Aaron Judge did what he did? I don't think so. Because then again, for some reason, people hate Gary Sanchez. Sure, I've been critical about Gary Sanchez. But I like his bat. And then again, Mark Teixeira goes on to say, why would he do that? Gee, I don't know. Because of the obvious. It's better than to, let's say, swing and knock somebody over the head or plunk a batter. So this is a perfect situation about how a team is crying like the Boston Red Sox. They initiated that reaction. Now they're like, oh... We don't know about nothing. We didn't do nothing. And Mark Teixeira is going on radio, giving them more ammo, putting salt on the wound, just like a MOB putting a Red Sox jersey on a Statue of Liberty. You know what you're going to do, Mark Teixeira? You're going to, let's say, prove CC Sabathia's point about you. And people defended you a few months ago. That's the only thing you've accomplished attacking because you did attack Aaron Judge a man with more credibility than you Mark Teixeira because coming from your former teammates it seems that I don't know you weren't a good teammate and then you're proving it again or proving it now that CC Sabathia's comments about you were 100% on point so Yankees fans what do you think leave your opinions in the comment section below and if you see dislikes on this video, it means that some triggered Red Sox fan that is like 10 years old has like 30 sock accounts. 
and they're dumbing it down because they got triggered with what I said about the Red Sox. I mean, whatever makes them feel great, whatever outlet I could give them to, let's say, take out their frustrations and not, let's say, attack somebody in real life. Because if you're dedicating your life to that, you have some serious screws loose. I keep stuff positive here. Obviously, I ain't talking about sports. Get the hell out of here with that garbage. So, like always, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.